So this will be my video of the repaint for Cat Valentine that it was Ariana Grande in Victorious so I really hope you like it and there you go so at first the most important thing as I said before it's uh, removing the original paint with acetone I actually do just that on the eyes and brows because I think it, it's best to retouch the mouth later then I try to sketch the face with a pencil I like it to be like very light just in case I get it wrong or something so first I try to place around some things like the hair, brows and eyes and retouch it pressing a little bit more, checking always a lot of photos of her in this case smiling with teeth that is the hard part and mostly for Ariana Grande and checking if the, it's a little bit higher, if it's, the eyes are on the place that it should be like to the sides brows and when I'm happy with the shape I put the white and then with the white I try to shape it a little bit more because sometimes when I apply the white it's not the perfect shape so I retouch it with my my pencils then again adding and adding a lot of la layering and I layer again with the white for the eyes is what I said a lot of checking and retouching with my pencils so the next step would be the iris, the placement of them. Uh, I really like to check uh, how much of white I have on each side, so that helps me to do both lines. I added for the lashes a darker line too, and now for the face, I the mouth. So again, layering, it's always from light to dark. So, once I'm happy with the shape of the iris and the eyes, it's darkening it. And the black for the lashes. When I'm trying to do, in this case, the lips, I change it later, but removing a little bit of the top part, because normally in dolls they do like way more than they should, and I remove that, and later on I will add more up lip. Here it's a, a little more of shading for the, the hair, sometimes on the lines of the expression, eyes, darkening a lot. In this case I darken it almost black because Ariana Grande have like a very dark eyes. Adding more lashes because as I said with Victoria uh, or Tori, they have many many fake lashes on the series and I needed the, that black flare another good advice with the eyes well could be with anything but for eyes I think that it's most important when I'm doing shading I like to be very careful and as I said with light colors first and the placement where I think the the eyes go further I put a lot of it and a lot of place so adding the light of the eyes always help to make it a little bit more alive I like to play with the hair a lot because sometimes it depends on where the hair is the, the face would be very different so I think that that is very important so I'm adding a little bit of shadow under the nose that is very very important in this case because these dolls have a very small nose for all of them so to, to make it a little bit wider I put shade under the nose and that gives the impression that the nose is a little bit bigger more retouching I gave a little lower lashes, in this case in in brown, because I think that they don't have like that glam look. Here I'm adding what I said before with the lips, so it needed to be a little bit wider. Here I'm doing uh, some shading on the smile because the, the mold is kind of plain so it needed that because the smile is very big
I'm adding more teeth. And with acetone, it's always good to have it next to you because it's something that it helps to change a little bit of what you did. Sometimes you can get something wrong. And with the acetone, it's very good because you can remove what you did wrong and then add it with or pencils or acrylic paint. In this video I will try to talk less because I think it's not very important what I need to say. It's you see everything. I try to explain some of the important parts that maybe they need explanation. Sometimes when I use uh, the pencil that it's black, I use it for shadowing, for the deepest part. Because in, in the doll it doesn't translate in black, it just translates in shadow, because I'm doing it over the brown. In this doll, as with Tori, I needed to do a lot of hair on the forehead, because the doll had like a big face for the big eyes that has, but once you do it more realistic, it, it looks huge. It's very important when you think you're finished, or kind of, because I, I was retouched it even though I think I finished. It's the, the spray in matte to put the gloss over it. As I said, eyes and lips is the most important placement for that, because it makes it darker and shinier. Here I'm trying to do a lot of shadowing with uh, the pastel colors. It's with a pencil that it's wider and very dry. And I do like contouring with dark colors. And as I said before, layering. Lighter color first and then adding and adding until I'm happy with it. I need to say I, I would have liked to have a doll with or closed mouth or slightly smaller smile. Because Ariana Grande, even in this series, I think she doesn't have that smile. So this is the, the tutorial. And for this doll, I did some retouches afterwards uh, when I wasn't recording because sometimes when I walk around my my room, I see the doll and, and I'm not happy about it. And I see some things that I need to change, but it's very small details with the same technique as, as I showed you. Pencil for some shadowing and acrylic paint for more drastic lines and harder colors. I really hope you like it. I really liked how it, it looks. I don't think it's perfect, but I think it's much better than Tori for now. I may retouch Tori more. And I think she looks like her in the first uh, season. So I hope you like it too. And see you on the next one. If you like it, subscribe and like the video. And I keep doing more. <laughs>